everyone to this closing accounting webinar. Uh, the approximate duration of this webinar is going to be around, let's say, 25 minutes, more or less, depending if we have some doubts or not. Uh, my name is Javier Tatay. I'm Knowledge Manager at ISEC Global, Global Finance Board. Um, also, I'm the L Local Committee President of ISEC in Valencia in, in Spain, but currently studying in the Netherlands. So, moving on, well, thank you very much for attending this webinar. And well, let's start with the index and the learning objectives. This, as I said, is this is going to be a webinar really short, but also is 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 going to be very useful because we are going to take like a very practical point of view. So we are going to start with why is important the clause in accounting, what is a, fisc a fiscal year, and then we are going to go through all the closing steps. So our main learning objectives is going to be to close your accountability step by step and then at the end we will see a bit more of reporting. Well, let's start. Why is important? Well, uh, at the end of each fiscal year you need to generate financial statements. In order to generate, to generate those documents correctly, you should close your accounting. Closing accounting is a process that requires time and knowledge. But during this webinar, we'll go through all closing steps, as I said before. Uh, remember that this should occur at the end of every fiscal year. So don't forget to put this into your transition. And moreover, well, it's obvious that to open a new year in accounting terms, first you need to close the previous one. So basically, closing is important as is one of the natural steps in our accounting process. As is one once the fiscal year is ending, we will need to open a new one. So in order to open a new one, we need to close the previous. But what exactly is a fiscal year? Well, a fiscal year is a period that an LCO entity uses for accounting purpose and preparing financial statements. A fiscal year may not be the same as a calendar year in companies because they have maybe different timelines. But here in our in our organization in ISEC, usually fits with the natural year from January to December. So at the end of the fiscal year, you need to generate your financial statements, as I said before, such as the balance sheet. or the profit loss. So <clears throat> once we know why it's important, more or less, what is a fiscal year is in the in the frame that we are going to move on, from fiscal year to fiscal year. Let's just start with our closing steps. If there is any in any moment, if you have any doubt, just write it down on the chat, and we will stop for a moment to to see if I can solve your doubts in in the in the same moment. Or if not, I can send you an email later with all the information that you require. So. The closing steps, there are nine closing steps. We are going to go through all of them uh, later in the next slides. So first of all, well, set a deadline for your members to give your all reimbursement for ending fiscal year. Send reminders to all members, company partners who owe you money. Create all invoices and receipts which should be created for this year. And fourth, accrue any revenue or cost that cannot be billed. Five step is the recalculation of exchange rate. Then the you need to do inventory of all accounts and correct the mistake if in accounting if it is need. Then calculate income taxes in case that you need to pay them. Uh, complete the financial statements, review them and correct all errors. And the last step it will be the release of these financial statements. So once we have going through all the all the process in a really 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 briefly way let's start going more in deep first of all uh, the lines to compile information uh, remember to contact all the departments from the lc to ensure that all expenses and revenues are supported with documentation such as invoice for companies receipts for small expenses and so on therefore set a date with your lc to receive this all information remember that once you have all this information, you will need to create the financial statement that it will take some time. So if the fiscal year is ending the 31st of December, 
don't ask for all these don't ask for these documents just the day before take take into account that it will you will need to take some time to calculate everything uh, this is in order to ensure completeness and accuracy of accounting and without fulfilling these principles your accounting might be not without legal power again well remember uh, to keep all your documents at least five years as it is said in one of the sessions before in basic, in basic accounting that you can check also in our YouTube channel. Continuing with documents, again, I'm going to repeat that it's really, 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 really important to that uh, that all transactions must be justified with this kind of paper, with invoices, receipts, bills, etc. Even the small expenses must be, must be supported with this kind of papers. Remember, as I told you before in one of the previous sessions, that an invoice must appear your data and data from the person or company who receives. Moreover, it must be clear for which service or good is the invoice. In our cases, for example, for ongoing programs, it can be for ongoing global volunteer or ongoing global talent. For example, reviewing all the invoices and receipts will allow you to ensure that the accounts are correct and there isn't mistakes. Therefore, your accounts will be ready to receive audits that they usually occur at the end of the year. Moving on, we are going to talk about accrual accounts. Uh, you use accrual accounts in those operations where you expect to collect money in the future or to pay it. For example, uh, when you will get paid but by opening a TN, but it will occur the next year. Accrual accounting recognizes those events even if the cash transaction hasn't uh, occurred. Sorry, I made some mistakes with the with the grammar. And this will be like the the real <coughs> the real uh, the real operation in accrual accounting, where you put in your debit side the accrual accounts that instead of the bank that we usually put when we earn the money, and then on credit the outgoing global volunteer in or outgoing global talent or incoming global entrepreneur, whatever, and the VAT if it is need. In your case, if it is need, then you put it. If it is not, then you don't. And once you get, you will get paid the next year in the in a new in a new fiscal year. Just make the 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 same operation as as if you get paid in the same financial year, but with accrual accounting on your debit side. You should put the bank account as it's normal and on the credit side the accrual accounting in this case we are following the ongoing global volunteer and if it is need the accrual accountant of the of the VAT. Is it clear until now regarding the accrual accounts and why it's important to keep all the documentation because without this kind of papers you will not you can't justify which are your expenses or incomes. Is everything clear until now? Okay, perfect. Thank you. And well and welcome ISEC Tunisia. I don't know if you are the MCVP or an LCVP finance, but welcome. Oh okay perfect. Moving on, we are going to talk now about the exchange rates. Uh, in case you have a currency that is different from your country or during the year you have paid or received in a different country, in a, in a different currency, remember to take it into account in your calculations. For example, all entities that don't use the euro will need to calculate the exchange rate at the moment of paying the AA fee. This means that, as you know, well, the, the exchange rates usually fluctuate but regarding this kind of payments that are in a different currency, you can agree which kind of exchange rate to use. So, for example, for future contracts and payments that involve different currencies, remember to set in the contract at which exchange rate will be the conversion. For example, if I set a company that the payment will be in dollar instead of euros, in, in my case that I'm European, so I, I use the euro, uh, I said that I will put it at X exchange rate this can be 1.1 or whatever so at the moment of the payment i will pay at this kind of exchange rate that might be agreed instead of the current one 
because for example I can sign the contract with the company today 15th of December and then to get paid like in January because maybe the company preferred to in this way and so on so if there is a different currency there will be a different exchange rate so if it is agreed on the on the contract you will avoid this kind avoid some any type of misunderstanding and you will make it more easier okay moving on we are going to talk about closing entries uh, at the end of the fiscal year you should clo use closing entries to shift the entire balance in every temporary account into returning and earnings which is a permanent account the net amount of the balances shifted constitute the gain or loss that the company or in our case the LCs or MCs earn it during the period uh, once the year end processing has been completed uh, all the temporary accounts have been emptied and therefore closed it for the current fiscal year you, uh, you then can set a flag in the accounting software just to close the, the old fiscal year which, may, which will mean that no one can enter transactions during that time period and you must also set another flag to open the next fiscal year at which point that you will open the next temporary accounts now with zero balances and use them to begin accumulating transactional information for the next fiscal year uh, remember that in order to generate financial statements such as the profit loss statement and balance sheet uh, you need to do this kind of closing operations which transfer your ending balance to these accounts in many accounting systems uh, is the, it, this is done automatically when you close your final year that your fiscal year that from the temporary accounts shift to more permanent accounts so you can have uh, the financial statements uh, well made next step is the evaluation of accounts receivable unfortunately it happen, It can happen that a company or a member always has money from a long period of time and the risk of not receiving this money is high. The end of the fiscal year can be a good moment when you can look back and see if there is any money that must be received or paid and evaluate how likely are these situations to happen. You can also create like a matrix with the probability of getting paid or probability of paying in case that the LC is the one who needs to pay some money and the amount of money for example so remember to use the final of the fiscal year to review what happened during the during the whole year and to see if there is any payment or receiving money that are is missing moving on we are going to talk now about the creation of the financial statements there are three main financial statements that in ISA we work with. Uh, I already explained them in the past session, but I'm going to go fast uh, during of, through all of them. The profit and loss statements is that present information of financial results over a period of time. You have the your revenues, which are mainly come probably from your from your uh, operations that will be of, uh, outgoing and incoming. And then you you need to rest the expenses and then at the end you will have a number which is can be positive or negative i hope that is positive because this will this will mean that you have more revenues than expenses the balance sheet that is also called uh, a statement of financial position or a statement of financial condition uh, disclose what an entity owns and owes at a specific point of time that is what uh, the balance sheet is called also like a, a snapshot of, of an entity or, or, or an LC. Remember that the balance sheet has the two parts, one with equity and liabilities and the one in assets. And remember that uh, assets must be equal to equ equity and liabilities. We already talked about this kind of documents in the past webinars. And the annual report, which is an annual publication that describes the operations on financial conditions of the LC or entity. Usually the front part of the report often contains an impressive combination of graphics, photos and accompanying narrative all of uh, which uh, chronicle of the LC or entity's activities over the past year. And the back 
part of the report usually contains detailed financial and operational information. Probably your entity will have like a template for uh, fulfilling this kind of document. And once you have created all these financial statements, uh, don't forget to review them. Because maybe you can, you can have some little errors or not. So just in case, just to take a look again and again, and then check with other people that maybe can see if there are some mistakes or not. Uh, once you have finished and corrected the financial statements, it's time to release them. But be careful. The annual report is a document that anyone can see and often can be sent to companies to evaluate if they are going to cooperate with us. So take care of uh, what, which information are you giving and how is going to be explained. The financial statements are formal reports, so uh, you should have writing guidelines and to ensure the properly communication of the information. Moreover, it is a work that must be done with, within all the LC and MC, as they are going to explain information from different areas, such as going to be operations, marketing, or business development. Uh, usually, in the report, you can compare the reality of what happened during the, the, the fiscal year with the budget, which is what did you expect it. But remember that we, as a as a local committee vice president finance and legality or finance or mcvp finance it's not we are like uh, responsible of creating this kind of thing of statements but also the different parts of the lc are going to get involved in the creation of these kind of documents so it's not only your work it's a work of the entire of the entire lc um what this is going to is, is ending. I would like to say like a final message as the fiscal as the fiscal year comes seem that is like the final of the final of our term and so on. Probably with the, the people that are on the EV on the LCs and so on because well as you know we are shifting everyone to to start and end on February. If on is it's going to be our last thing being an EV together and so on. But don't be sad because it's over, but be happy because it happened. So even if it is this kind of activities, which will be probably one of the, the last activities that, that you are going to do in your term and so on, probably as a LCVP finance, maybe you can be like, oh, well, I'm not going to pay to put too much effort, but in this case, you need to put all the attention and so on, so you will release a good financial statement, and then your LC will take the next, uh, your LCVP finance elected will take the next step and so on. So remember always that be glad of what happened and always give uh, the maximum amount of energy, knowledge and so on to create this kind of document. And this has been, been mainly this the this webinar remember that you can subscribe to our youtube channel like us on facebook you can send emails or love letters to gfb at i.isec.org and you can check the finance part in the isec hub through the, through this link which is www.is.ec and then in the fin in the functional you click on financial remember that uh, the hub is probably one of the most powerful tools that we have, so remember to use it. So, so thank you so much for your attention. I hope that I helped you somehow. Uh, yeah, I can. I'm going to write down my email on the chat. This uh, this PowerPoint, even if it's going to be probably posted on the on the on the wiki on the on the ISEC hub, but also if you put your email on the chat, I, I will be, I will send it to you right now. So if there is any, any question, any doubt or so on, please feel free to share with us. And well, I think that that's been everything. So again, thank you so much.